What's up, gang? Case here with our strength work for Wednesday, October 28th. This is for our in-gym program. We've got three sets of five of a tempo box step up. It's going to be five seconds on the way down. And then we've got a ring row complex. It's going to be two tempo reps in three different hand positions. Same movements as we did for this uh, strength work last week. Our goal this week um, on our step ups is going to be to potentially lose that object we use for balance. Still don't want you guys adding weight yet. We'll have the opportunity to add some weight in the upcoming weeks. Goal today is going to be working that balance, working that full range under uh, control. Let's go ahead and talk about that step up. So last week we used that balance or we used that object for a bit of balance. If you can get rid of that object this week, start tall, point that toe down, let it slide down the box. That'll give you a little bit of assistance and that will also help control that rate in the bottom. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, fighting control, not falling those last couple inches. That's the hardest part. Barely tap your toe and stand. And what that's gonna keep you from doing is coming down to this plant position and then using momentum to get back to the top. This way we're only working that top leg. And that's our goal when we're on one side to keep everything isolated over to one side or the other. Five on one side and then we'll switch it for five on the other side. Some other things to look for here. When we're in this bottom position, this foot should stay flat on the box. So make sure you're not having to come up in your toe chest stays tall so if you get down to the bottom and you have to do this to get to the ground that means that object is too high so make sure chest stays tall last piece we want our knee to stay either over the toe or slightly outside of the toe if that knee falls inside to get to the bottom position then bring that balance object back into the equation or reduce your height from there we'll move over to ring rows Our goal this week is going to be to move the feet forward just a bit compared to where we were at last week. That's going to increase our angle. Start with this little knee bend and then make yourself tall, look up towards the ceiling, tuck that chin back. Now I have that straight line all the way down the back of my neck. First two reps, overhand grip, pull to the top, hold, two, three, down, two, three. Second two reps are going to be neutral grip. Last two reps, underhand grip. On this overhand grip, fist position is going to be a bit higher, but still trying to pull elbows back as far as we can. On this neutral grip, we'll be closer to the middle of the ribs. And then on this underhand grip, we're going to pull closer to those low ribs. Check in with yourself while you hold those tempos. When you're holding at the top, make sure you're still pressing through your feet, making your body long, squeezing your butt, squeezing your belly. Um, other thing to watch out for, we all tend to get our hips up. That helps us kind of get that last little bit of range. Make sure we're keeping hips down, and that's why I like to look up towards the ceiling because that'll help you maintain a straighter line. You'll have two per hand position, so six total reps, three second hold at the top, three second down. If possible, move feet forward compared to where you had them last week. Good luck on our strength work for today, and we'll see you guys back in a bit for our Metcon.